everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we're going to be doing our paycheck budget, um, weekly check-in for me. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Yoshida and we do budgeting, envelope, cash envelope stuffing sometimes here, planning, minimal planning, all that great stuff. So if this is your first time here, I'd love to welcome you to the Cove. Leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know that this is your first time here. Um, so let's hop right on in. So you guys, last week, you know, the past couple of weeks have been like slow, okay? Um, this was last week, May 16th through the 22nd. We were having two slow weeks, so we didn't want to up our pay I'm self-employed also, for those who are new. We didn't want to up our pay too much, so we just put it at 600. It came out to be 742. Um, Norse Cove did a little bit more than, we put zero, but it did a little bit more than 19. Well, at least that's what my um, stats are saying, but I'd already put 19 here. And then uh, miscellaneous, I had $39 because I returned something, but I also returned something else. I don't know why I come up with this 100 number. It really wasn't 100, but $861. So that'll kind of make up for what came in through Norris Cove. Everything got paid but T-Mobile. We thought we were in the negative. If you remember, we were in the negative last week, which was fine. And I knew that I probably wouldn't be able to take care of that T-Mobile. Now, we needed $828. It looks like we made like $861. I'm really thinking... It was, well, I don't know. To be honest with you guys, I don't know. But this is, I'll tell you the truth. I did not track my spending last week. And I've been a little laxy-daisy with that. So I definitely need to start tracking my spending. So let's just flip it over. Get into this week, which is May 23rd through the 29th. Uh, we list our sources of income, which is hair, Norris Cove, nails, and miscellaneous at the moment. Here, we're going to project 700. We're going to inch that back up a little bit. Norris Cove, uh, I'm going to do zero. Nails, I do have a nail client this week, but I think we're just kind of fixing something. I'm going to put zero. I may have another one. I'm gonna put uh, $30, put 30. Miscellaneous zip, so that brings us in at $730, okay? This week, let me go into my A6, my every, everyday carry, and this is where all the bills are really due. So I can see, here's my little cheat sheet, so, we have PayPal due on the 25th, and that's going to be $30. We have car insurance due on the 28th, and that is $206. And then also on the 28th, which, which is a Saturday, my booth rent is due. And that is $250. And then on the 29th, we have GoDaddy. And GoDaddy is $7.41. So the total will be $493.41. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I've already kind of reviewed this. So we're going to take and subtract that from our 730. This is with $236.59. That's what we should have left after we subtract that from our supposed income. Preferably, we make more. So, you guys, this is it. This is what we have going on this week. I'm not going to say that I can give um, anything to sinking funds, cash envelopes, but I will. I love to make a note on a budget. I love a note. <laughs> if you're new here, I love a note on a budget. I got to have it, or I'll use a sticky note. But we're going to try to give um, T-Mobile some extra money. So yeah, so let's pop this back in. Let's just do a quick review. 
we have 700 coming in for hair. That is the lowest amount that we're going to go this week. Um, nails, we think we're going to make 30. And then we have PayPal to pay, car insurance, booth rent, GoDaddy, and those total up to $493.41. Uh, oh, and all, by the way, I've already paid PayPal. Um, I had a balance left in my, um, some funds left in my PayPal. So I just paid it out of that so it would be um, taken care of. And I didn't have to worry about, oh, am I going to have the money? And I just did it before I transferred the money to my account. So I'm just letting it sit there. And that's just the, like, just the way that I like for it to be. So, that's it, you guys. I know it's pretty quick this week, but we don't have a lot of things to pay, and I'm thankful for that. <laughs> um, I'm unthankful that everything's low. So, as I tell y'all all the time, if I don't make the 700, I at least need to make my bill money. Okay. Also, I do know I bought gas last week, but I want to think I used it for my credit card. But y'all, gas is kicking my butt, so I have to use a credit card because I'm scared to use cash. That's why I need to go back to my cash envelopes because, whoo, gas is out of control. So, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell so that you can come back for more content like this. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.